Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about children props in our SolidJS and what is the purpose of children props in SolidJS. I have explained about default props and also splitting the props in my previous video. Please watch that for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here we have an app.jsx and now let me create a child component so that we can pass the data from our parent to child. So let me use a new file that is nothing but child.tsx or let me use jsx and let me use something like scomp and hit enter so it created a child component for us let me copy this child and put it over here so this is my child component let me import this child component now what I want to do is I want to pass some data from our parent to child and that data is something like you want to render some UI not the strings or not booleans not some data I want to send some HTML content in that case it is always recommended to use the children children can be passed between the component open and close braces so let me pass this and let me go inside this and pass a h1 tag let me use hi this is a children prop so I can just use this children prop by using a props property that is nothing but props and I can receive these props and I can showcase my children props by getting that value so I can use something like children this is the property which we can use for every props so you can see props dot children so the children will contain h1 tag let me go here and you can see hi this is children prop and that is printed in your child component not in the parent and let me check how it works if I pass multiple values so if I want to pass multiple values over here hi this is child 2 and let me save this you can see here hi this is child 2 actually you can pass n number of children's for your child component as a HTML content it is mainly recommended whenever you want to pass it as a HTML content and this ha also has the capability to listen to a signal so let me go here and create a signal called as age and set age let me use a create signal over here and let me pass an age of 10 so what I'll do is I'll just create a button in my parent component so update age and what I want to do is on clicking on this age button I want to update my values of age set age get the previous age and increment by one so let me save this now whenever I click this button it will be incrementing my age property with one and let me use one more thing called as h3 and h3 will access this values by using an age property so let me get age and let me use something like age and save this so whenever this age gets updated it will receive the value and that value will be updated in your child and that will be reflecting on your child component let me go here and click this you can see here it has been updated and I want to show some h1 or let me use something like a paragraph I am after child 1 so the children 1 that means children of 0 will treated as h1 and h2 will be treated as index of 1 h3 will be treated as index of 2 let me go here and you can see hi this is a children prop it is receiving the first children alone and not all the children's so if you want to distribute this so I can use one more paragraph over here and I can use something like props dot children and I can access the first element and then I can access the second element as well so props dot children of I can use second one so first one that is 0th index will be printed here and then these three paragraphs will be printed so if you want to interrupt some content in between the children then you can use children of 0 children of 1 like that means you can use the indexes let me go here you can see I have interrupted my children properties with a paragraph in between so you can use like this as well and this is not always performative it will not give much performance to memoize this solid JS has been provided as a children property so you can use a children property that is children sample I am using something like this and you can wrap your whole props dot children within a children property which is given by 
solidjs this is a function it will receive a callback function and just return your children property from this so that the advantage is it will have more performative if the value of the children changes then only this particular values gets updated so that's how you can use and i can use something like children sample children sample children sample and save this i can remove this children property over here and save this you can see let me reload and you are not able to get the values of all this and I can use this as a signal so let me use like a signal because this children is a type of a signal when that get updated all my HTML will get updated you can see here so whenever you want to access the values from a children property it is always recommended to use a children method so that this will memoize this particular values and the values only wherever you are using if they are updated then this children sample will get a signal and that signal will be updated the return type of this children is a signal so that's why I'm using of that means parenthesis so it is always recommended to use a children method so that your application will be more performative and it will be using an internal create memo so I have discussed about the create memo in my previous video please watch that so that you will be getting in a clear fashion that's how you can increase your performance of your application by using a children method hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you